Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today a very special video. We're going to react to the three Muslims. If you haven't checked out our podcast already, I'm going to put the link in the description box so you can watch it. Today, however, we're going to check out their video, What is Your Purpose? Insane Street Dawa. Those guys really do an amazing job. They started their podcast some time ago. However, then they moved further into a brand new studio. But this is not stopping them from going out in their spare time and doing street dawa. Let's have a look. How would your objectives here, or the way you view them, not be considered worship when your life, you would even argue, or could say, revolves around this thing? <laughs> it's not to make money and to live super comfortably while other people are suffering and so on and so forth because they couldn't make it and you could. What if I said that's not your purpose? What if you had a greater purpose in life? And I could tell you what that was. Would you then go and seek that purpose. Gotta hear this purpose. Uh, yeah, I gotta hear it. So just by this brief introduction, I can already tell that this video will be about the shift of focus, the shift of purpose, because people don't understand that they worship material things as their God. I already said that people have a hierarchy. This is natural to us. We play follow the leader in this material world, but moreover, in the spiritual sense, we always have a hierarchy and naturally on top of the hierarchy, there would be God. If we, however, do not believe in God, we place random things on top of that hierarchy. Could be anything. Could be money, could be women, could be drugs, could be your favorite sport. And this is what people do unconsciously. They worship things, they worship the creation instead of the creator. Paul Drake, okay? He's gonna ask you something, okay? Uh, that's good. Right, you guys down? Yeah, Alright, what's your name? Ben. Nice to meet you, my man. Christian. Christian and Aiden. Aiden. Nice to meet you. Alright, Ben, Christian and Aiden. Alright. I have a very simple question for you guys. What's your purpose in life? Simple. <laughs> what is your main objective? What do you wake up and think, I'm going to do this today? Make a lot of money. Make a lot of money, you? A lot of money, treat people with respect. Okay, okay, I like that, I like that. What's up? Money, treat people with respect, succeed in life. Succeed. What does success look like to you? Live in a nice house, nice job, nice family. Supporting the family, the living with a nice family. Okay, okay, well, okay. Nice make money, least. respect people, live a good life, support family, so on and so forth. I'm loving what I'm hearing so far. Would you guys say that you worship this thing? Would you say you worship these goals? You worship these purposes and objectives? I don't worship. Sure, of course. Anything that comes to mind first is already worship. Yeah, but Obviously. like, I think about it. I think about it. Like, yeah, I think, yeah, I think about it. Same. I think about it. I like try my hardest. Yeah. But okay, all right. So the definition of worship, right, is having reverence for something, and reverence is having a deep respect for it, or maybe even a, a yearning for it, recognition of it, right? So now with this definition, how would your objectives here, or the way you view them, not be considered worship when your life, you would even argue, or could say, revolves around this thing? Of course, 100%. <laughs> it leaves you a little lost, right? Yeah. So my next question, and this is a really important one. All right, so take a second to think about it. Where does this purpose come from? Does someone come and say, Christian, this is your purpose in life. Go make money. And, and your mom comes to you like, your purpose is to make money, make me happy. It comes from your surroundings, of course. Those guys are still very, very young. They probably watch some YouTube clips on how to get rich. And therefore, they just repeat what they saw. They've been fed this information. Make money, make money. This is the biggest goal nowadays. And therefore, they think it is their own goal. When I was young, I watched Scarface. And I thought I have to become a drug dealer to crack the matrix. You know, yes. where do you get your purpose from? Just, just thinking about it because like I, I don't know like like coming to Niagara Falls you see some people on the street and you're like I don't know if I want to be like that when I'm yeah, older like sure okay I see so you see some people you're like I don't want to be like that so everything can become the teacher, no matter if it is positive or negative. As he said, you can see a beggar and you can tell yourself, this is what I don't want to become. And therefore it becomes a powerful teacher as well. Yeah, yeah I know. I feel you 100%. percent. Yeah, 100%. So let, what if I told you that actually that's not your purpose in life. The reason you are on this earth, right? Aiden, Christian and Ben, right? The reason you're on this earth and you're living this life is not to make money 
and to live super comfortably while other people are suffering and so on and so forth because they couldn't make it and you could. All right, not that it's a bad thing. What if I said that's not your purpose? What if you had a greater purpose in life? And I could tell you what that was. Would you then go and seek that purpose? I gotta hear this purpose. <laughs> uh, yeah, I gotta hear it. You gotta hear it? You gotta hear it. Okay, the purpose of life, right? It's not to go for just what you desire. Your purpose in life is to serve God. Now I know you're thinking, oh, it's this again. I hear this all the time. But think about it. Did success and money and so on and so forth, did that create you? Did that put you on this earth? No. So who put you on this earth? God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. So why, how come? And this isn't to judge anyone, you know, that everyone's... It's actually nice to hear that they at least acknowledge that God put them on earth and that they are not atheists. It has their struggles and stuff, but... So why was your answer not to worship and please God and be from the successful ones, meaning that God considers me someone who's successful in life? Because you were just telling us, like, what's our purpose was. Like, I don't know, I didn't really think it was about God or anything, but, like, thinking about it, like, I could see yeah, it, yeah. Think about it, yeah. yeah. And you know what? That's actually not a bad answer. I'd say most people would give that kind of answer. And uh, something, one piece of information... No, I think most people would actually say, I don't believe in God. That's a little thought-provoking. Is that goal you have is not something you decided. It's not. You think you woke up decided that, you're wrong. What taught you that is the lifestyle that we're living. Capitalism, liberalism, secularism, all these isms, these ideologies that men created years ago, they're the ones who dictated, said, this is your objective, Christian. Ben, this is your purpose, and you, your only meaning in life is to make money. But what does God want for us? God created us, pardon me? Live to the fullest. Live to the fullest? In what way? I don't know, like enjoy everything you have in life, like enjoy don't everything in the moment. Don't take anything for granted, yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah. Don't take anything for granted. Don't take anything for granted. Don't take anything for granted. Be grateful. Be grateful. It's beautiful. So I have a gift for you. I wish I had one for each of you. You might have to share. I'm going to turn to a verse here, and I want you all just, I'll read it out to you guys. I just want you to reflect on it, and I'll give it to you guys. This is the Quran, right? Okay. If I didn't explain this before, I'm a Muslim, right? Yeah. I'm a Muslim. I Surprise. believe in one God. This is what Islam teaches. One God worthy of worship who sent the prophets and messengers like Moses, like Noah, like Jesus. We yeah. believe in Jesus, peace and blessed be upon him. Yeah. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who brought this book for us. So I'm going to turn to a verse here, which I was reflecting on today, which actually inspired the, the question that I asked you guys. This. Let me just pull it up here. The chapter is actually called The Kneeling. Have you seen the people who take their desires as their own God? Meaning, whatever you desire, you know, women, money, fame, fortune, you make that your God. You worship that thing. You dedicate your life to that thing. I mean, I mean God comes first, obviously, before anything. Yeah. So, like, whatever yeah, but I does do is just because of God, and God's just there. Like, That's very beautiful. Yeah. Exactly, That's God a beautiful is just thing. there. That's the whole point, because people take Him for granted. God is just there. So, does He really come first? Obviously, yes, He comes first, but does He come first for you? God is the first, God is the last, He is the Alpha, He is the Omega, but is He that for you in your mind? That's the question. That's a beautiful thing, my man. So, I won't hold you guys any longer. Right, I appreciate the time. I do want to give this to you guys. Right. Give it a read, reflect on it. Right. If you guys want to see the YouTube channel, it's Way of Life SQ. It's the brother right there. You're going to see his channel and hopefully you'll see your faces the halal drake shout out to halal say halal drake halal drake halal drake halal drake, halal drake. you already know halal drake yo boys 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 yeah some real ones yeah some real ones. for real for real yo be safe tonight man don't get into so much trouble you know what i mean yo god bless bro be easy wow wow this guy come here bro wow subhanallah subhanallah really bro what a great job what, what did you feel about that bro Tell i was honestly i was really proud alhamdulillah i think they were very very nice people i hope inshallah allah guys into islam may allah guide him what did, what did you do that was just so like you had a really nice technique so like this was your first time speaking to someone like this uh, street wise like, tell me more yeah well I do a lot of debates alhamdulillah and I speak yeah. to a lot of different people I know street this is very catchy the way that he talks and many people do appreciate it for me it's a bit too hyper for me it is a bit too out there I do appreciate the more laid back style as you can probably tell I've only done it one other time okay All right so I, I learned a bit from that but alhamdulillah I was watching you do it mashallah and I was just thinking you know, what's something that if I ask people, they'll answer in a way 
where they're probably against or away from Islam, uh -huh. but I can always bring it back. Alhamdulillah. So that's why I asked about their purpose. I heard that. I heard that idea of the purpose, and I think that that's a great strategy. I'm going to try, and I think that you guys should be trying at home too, guys. We don't want to make this exclusive just for us. Like we have some type of ownership of the dawah. This is everyone's responsibility. Hit the streets, grab a Quran, and grab people's attention because this is the duty of Allah. Rami, you smashed it, mashallah. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. 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 They look really interested. Make the offer them as well, too, guys. We're going to be back. We're going to give out more dawah, guys. Stay tuned. All right, and this is it for today's video. Very enjoyable watch. Good job, Rami, here on speaking to the youth about God. I believe that this is absolutely amazing when people in this age group get reminded of God one way or the other. Guys, if you haven't checked out the three Muslims yet, as I said, I'm going to post the link in the description box. Check them out. If you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel on Patreon, check it out. Link in the description box as well. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.